of the Scots, through pride and passion, were prepared to come out and have a go at the highly fancied uh, Germans. And the French press are now demanding something of the same of the French against Denmark. But that French team is not in the same class as a team when Platini was playing. We, we know that. Nevertheless, they've got a forward-looking team. And there we have changes. Henrik Larsson and Torben Frank have been brought into the team. They were subs in the last couple of games, and they, they now start. The French themselves have brought back Perez. Well, you've seen him playing in this tournament, indeed. And so off we go into this game, which has been played at exactly the same uh, time as that game. Break again. Paulson on the outside. Laudra puts it in. Paulson puts it down again. It's a great chance. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. Superb strike there. Henrik Larsson. I did say that French defence had been ruthlessly exposed and Larsson lashing that into the back of the net. Look at Bowley, he's incensed by what happened. I do suspect this is going to make the next... Oh, 85 minutes or so. Just less than that. Very interesting indeed back in there by Anderson. Picked up by Johnny Sieberbeck. Well, that's a dangerous one again. The French are looking bedraggled at the back. A product of the Jose youth policy. So many players have come up now. This man is bemused, isn't he? Running on the far side, Laudrup going in again. Has he got some support? Can he lay it back? Just a little too selfish there, I think. He goes for the one, two, he's almost through. Martini, old-fashioned dribbler with the ball. And once again, getting right in behind the defence, Anderson. A French international for 25 months, great record. Because by Ruhr, Schmeichel. Little bit of a curl in it. And no, uh, that was never going to be counting. Paulson, Katana. Well, that's a bit of ball. Running through the middle, Jura. This nature with only one goal. Here he is, corner kick. Wade kills. It was Blanc. Laurent Blanc. Played in 82 and 86 in the World Cup, and now Perez. Papa. Nice little touch there. And there's a shot. Cantona. One nicely inside and just taken away by Rose at the back though. Oh, and he tried to dab it, curl it round the defence as they came back. Amongst themselves, or I think chat's a euphemism. Cantona. Expected. The up and under, it's onside. Oh, there's no defence. Bully very late going in. Uh, Cassoni. And really, they let. Taken quickly by Christophe. On the edge of the box and whipped away. Was there a deflection? Perez having gone right across to the other side. There it is. The halftime whistle and the loudest cheers, of course, coming from the Danes. The scorer, Henrik Larsson, in the eighth minute, an absolutely glorious finish. Uh, the kind of chance that... ...Visa and Italy, who's hardly been seen in this tournament at all. But if nothing else happens, I'm sure he can tell his grandchildren. The night he outdid Jean-Pierre Papin by scoring such a goal that the Frenchman would have been proud of himself. Not a terribly distinguished to Danes, the way the Danes said about them at the start of this game. We saw virtually nothing of France as an attacking force in that first 45 minutes. Lower build up by France.
Getting through there, Papa almost stepping onto that. Papa on the outside, Schmeichel. They're trying to go in. Perez in there, there's a header. Cantona. Fed in by Amaros. Getting more balls into the penalty to Bully. Oh, beautiful Ronnie Anderson. Doing very well, pass Bully, and he goes. Oh, that's a great tackle. Oh. Schmeichel on edge. No, no, no. Oh. Offering not all that much, and there is a shot at Michael doing very well as the French try to make me eat my words there as I'm writing them off at the moment. Fernandez trying to go through offside, is it? Papa scores! As again, Sweden, one touch he's had a goal and it counts. It's quite remarkable. One each. And that is a look of joy and relief mixed. In the net. And he set it off in its little parabola there. Oh, that's great stuff. They're yeah, ready at the end of the defensive wall. Perez with them. And it goes to the side. There's a shot of Schmeichel. Brilliantly done. That was well won by the French. They open up a gap in that defensive wall. And are laying himself about a bit. Now here he goes through. Cantona. Papa's inside him. Can he finish it off? There's Papa. Oh, it's so close. And I think he may have put Deschamps off. <laughs> Way wide it goes across there. Touch towards Poulsen. Still one each. By the corner. No. Also did come forward at the substitute as well. A Calgary stampede. And Polson picks up. Who's inside? It's a goal! Scored there by Elstrup, the substitute. 2 1 for Denmark. Absolutely overjoyed. All he had to do was slide it into the net. Just when the French looked right in ascendancy. There was no offside. Bully, I think, played them on. The run by Poulsen and France before have come back from the dead. Oh, where did he go again? Anderson. The final ball just touched away. It's all far away from their home country. So it looks at this stage. What anguish. Oh, there's a push forward here. There's a great run forward. Beautiful run by Frank. I'm sure he was impeded, though. I am sure he was impeded. Why did the referee not blow? And he knows it, doesn't he? Is it a look of resignation on that face? Very cool. Amaros. Wally at the back. And there's a short Cantona. No, it was blown. Blown coming in. The bags go away for a month and end, preparing for this. And here is a team brought in at the last moment. And they have reached the semi-final of Europa 92.